six long months later. Hey, sir, what are you doing? We made it to Grace Taxidermy. Pick up the swordfish and uh, order a, a new mouth. You're all good. I've been documenting this since we started. Cool. The whole process. Nice. So I am so stoked. I can film back here, right? Yeah, of course. I want people to see this. You guys want water? No. Yeah, water? Thank you. Well, we're here to pick up the sword. Very exciting. So uh, we do 12 to 15,000 mounts a year. Largest green taxidermy shop in the entire world. <laughs> Holy Over God. here is our stock. Uh, this is like a stock rack. But every other fish you see in this shop is something that someone actually has a custom order for. So there's 14 different departments. Each department has their own job. One guy just does the fins. One guy just does the teeth. One guy just does the glass eyeballs by hand. Then after we get all the parts and pieces of the fish, they go and get five different layers of marine quality paint, including an emerald clear coat. Let's go show you what that looks like. In addition to the, to the different layers of paint and the body work on the fish, we also do a lot of uh, custom artwork creations. Oh. We can put your fish in a natural environment, like a shipwreck scene for a grouper over here. Oh. Get your barnacles, the wreck, the corals, the sand base. It's made out of an insulation foam. Very this is gonna be a giant shark with a remora under the belly. I actually oh. designed this one. That's the wall wave up there. That's probably our best selling backdrop. It's a custom art piece we invented. It's made out of a slow expanding two part epoxy insulation foam as well. This is how the wave is made in live time over here. This is the material they use right here. So it's like a very lightweight, pliable, expandable material. And we use the, the foam to ergonomically expand and form to your fish's dimensions. So we use our fish to mold these. We also have bait fish that we make by hand here. They're casted from real baits. So like we had to use a real flying fish to make a cast and then we we took them from there and, and made them look lifelike. So those are all done by hand. There's a nice wafu right there. That wall is huge. So yeah, we're a custom shop. If you want like an inshore, you know, driftwood, long grass scene for a redfish or a bass, mm -hmm. that's what would go on there. Even our wood plaques are furniture grade. So they're, uh, you know, different stains, grains, shapes, sizes, whatever you like. There's like a nice cream oh, color. Oh, that looks very nice. Actually. Very modern look. Yeah, as opposed I like to your that. traditional dark stain. Uh, fish on, on different backdrops. So here's like a dual wave. You got your flying fish in there. You got the cow, the bull. That's awesome. A lot of couples will get that. Yeah, that looks we're pretty patriotic. So we also do a really nice Patriot paint job. Here's a great white with the American flag painted on it. That's but we can paint it like anything you like. You know, it can be your uh, business logo or, um, you know, the sign throughout the business or your favorite sports team or your sports car. Anything in your imagination. That's a Goliath. This is... That's a Goliath, for sure. That's a Goliath. Yeah, that's a nice right. Right. There's a big nurse shark on the way. You got a black tip or a spinner or a... Shark up there. Like our mouse, they have a bass pro hanging. Yeah, that was us. 
we do all the bass throws. Uh, we do a lot of the museums. You can hang your fish suspended, making it look like it's swimming through the air. That's Over cool. here is where we do some of the, the custom paint booth work. Where our black grouper will be coming. Yep. <laughs> so Bob will probably be painting it, either Bob or George. Hi there. Wow. He's marking all the specific spots of the mahi he's about, about to do. Here's more of the wood blacks. Now this is one of the most important parts of the, of the operation. It's one of the most impressive parts too. So all these fish here hang to dry after they're painted. So you can imagine these were all done re very recently. And check out those swimming mount manta rays up there. Come get a Oh, oh wow. are full of fish. They'll be going out today or tomorrow with a big semi. Mm. We do probably over 200 a day. Some of these got like 10 fish in each box. Holy now, they're still probably pulling your swordfish. It might be in one of our uh, other units in a different building. Okay. So let me ask you, everyone that orders has to either get it shipped or, or pick, pick it up. up. Yeah. And there's no way that that's going to get like ruined and shipping or anything. Well, they're fully insured, thankfully. Oh, they are. So, even, you know, 5% of them probably come back, which isn't very much considering how many we send out. And the ones that do come back, they're 100% covered. You guys you pay for that with the crating and the shipping. And, and the shipping usually right. gonna wait like another month or a couple of weeks. Yeah, because more. what happens is uh, they gotta crate them and there's a long line of fish that have to be crated. So if you decide last minute you wanna get it crated, they're not gonna put you in front of everyone else who's been You're waiting. Gonna wait. So that's 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 all that is. But these guys they take a long time to build these crates, it's a lot of work. They wrap them in like a triple ply yeah, uh, nice cardboard on top of that and you can stand on just the cardboard by wow. itself okay. free of charge. Back to life. Yeah. Turn it this way. Birdie. Turn it this way. Birdie. What do you think? Love it. Oh, we got a picture of you guys holding it. Go ahead. You want to give me your phone? Yeah. Uh-oh. 